so in the last lesson we learned some basic formatting and styling and making some basic tables and in this lesson we will learn how to put match symbols in latex tables so there is no difference except that uh, we have to use math environment a normally inline environment so which is uh, created by putting dollar sign at the beginning and end of the text which you want to put in a cell so in the similar manner so we can put any equation any math symbol anything in the in the in the table so this is again a very similar document i have just deleted some of the dummy text uh, i want a very short text so no we are using only array package and book tabs package so these are the two my favorite packages and please note that for math tables uh, you can also use uh, an environment called array environment instead of the tabular environment and array environment uh, some people feel more comfortable with array environment i personally uh, don't use it but most people prefer array environment and uh, you can use it so i will show you how to use uh, tabular environment and array is no different the only difference is that tabular environment can be used anywhere where an array environment can only be used in math uh, environment so this is one of the uh, big differences you can put tabular environment inside a figure which is very flexible and uh, that's why i prefer this environment it's up to you so this is a normal uh, empty table at the moment as you can see that only three column has been defined but nothing entered okay let's start with some uh, table in hand so let us assume that this is the table which we want to make a math table which has only two columns and two rows and every entry has a mathematical equation so there is no difference in these equations just uh, a little bit but i want to show you the basic functionality of the table because we have a lot to cover in this course then you can expand this to any number of rows and columns there is no difference the only difference is that we have to use the math environment and how to write equations for which we have a separate uh, series of two or three lectures on uh, math equations and how to use math environment so if you feel any difficulty you can go there and see but we will also see some couple of other options of using uh, tables so therefore uh, this lecture has been separated from the previous lecture so let us put put this table beside our uh, editor so that we can see what we are trying to write so it's a two column and two rows so we only have two columns here then the first entry and then an ampersand sign and then end of the line and then an ampersand sign it's always useful to have this ampersand first aligned so that we don't do any mistakes so now these are the four places where we have to put these entries so first of all because it's a math so we have to put dollar sign and we have to write this equation inside the dollar sign so i'm just uh, get away writing the equations and then we will we'll we will try to format uh, this uh, table so theta under square a theta under square a equals integral so we go to theta then under square a then the integral sign which is backslash int and then after the integral sign there is a fraction so whenever there is a fraction it means frac is the fraction and there are two pair of curly brackets for numerator and denominator in the numerator is y in the denominator it's x and then dx dy so this is our first entry so we can just copy this and place it here replace this a with b and this y with x and x with y and then in the the third entry is psi underscore a equals again the fraction 
pair of curly brackets in the numerator we have capital V under square A raised to the power 2 and in the denominator we have E and I so now we can copy this place it here replace A with B and replace this A with B and now if I compile this because we have to put a dollar sign here it's a mathematical equation so we made this mistake so just put a dollar sign here and now if we look at this table as you can see that this table looks okay if you compare it with our table there is a line here top rule mid rule bottom rule so let's put these lines first of all top rule so we can just put here top rule and we are already using uh, this uh, book tabs package which is required for this command after the first line we can use mid rule and after the last line we have to put a double backslash and then we can use bottom rule and now as you can see our table looks fine now but the only problem is that these lines are too close and we want these lines to be a little bit more wider and this is a common thing when you are putting mathematics in tables you will see that sometimes you have to open up these lines so how to make the row height different so there is a command for this which you can use here before the tabular environment in the preamble part of the table so what you do is you say renew command and then inside the curly bracket backslash array stretch array stretch and the second argument say I say 2 so 2 means that the, the height of the row will be twice <clears throat> so if I recompile this now as you can see that our table is looking much more professional than the before so now for example if you want a bigger integral sign currently it looks fine to me but sometimes you might think that this looks a little bit smaller you want a, a big integral sign or you have to put certain limits on top and bottom of the integral so for that you can use a package called begins so use package it's a nice little package so this package gives you access to some of these integrals so this is this i am taking this figure from the documentation of begins package so you can go on c10 website and you can uh, see that so these are the commands instead of int you will give big int big ints big int with double s so these are different type of integrals available with this uh, package so i am using for example big int so i can instead of this int we can say big int and now if i compile it you will see that our integral sign has been increased So now as you can see the font size is uh, a little small but you can increase the font size using all the fonts, font size commands. So this looks more uh, professional. So in this way you can make uh, mathematical tables. No, so now if there are a lot of tab a lot of rows and columns and you don't want to put this dollar sign each and every uh, time so then what you can do is you can actually define a column type in the preamble of the table so for example I just remove all these dollar signs so instead of putting this dollar sign at each and every entry because if there are for example 25 entries so you might miss something and it increases the chances of errors and uh, error waste time so instead of doing that we can actually define a new column type here in the preamble of the table so we can say 
new column type and we say name a column like a first column is a and then we have to use this column type in our declaration where we say tabular but we say new column type a and then we start a curly bracket and end this curly bracket and within this curly bracket what we have to do we have to put this sign and then pair of two pair of curly brackets and dollar sign in each one of them dollar sign here and dollar sign here and then C. C means the center, central aligned column which we use in the tabular environment. So this C. So we are putting this C here in the definition of the column and giving this column a new name A. We are saying that make a new type of column A which is just like C but it has inserted dollar signs on both sides. So this is the new definition. So now instead of this C I will say use A and also for the second column I say B and I just copy this again and define another column B in the same manner and now I can say okay use A and B and now I put A and B inside the tabular. So now if there are maybe 100 rows, I don't have to put dollar in those 100 rows. I have defined it here just straight away. And one more thing we have to insert the opposite sign here. Here. Yeah. So what we are saying this is that define a new column type A which is exactly like this C center day line column and put dollar sign on each side. So. Uh, greater than and then less than after this C. So it will insert dollar sign in each of the entry in all of the columns. So now if I compile, I am not putting any dollar sign here and if I compile it will successfully compile and it will show me the mathematics. As you can see it has compiled and our math is there. So this is a good way to put mathematics using the tabular environment just define your columns here and then you can use without the dollar sign but normally tabular is best for text environment and array environment is good for math environment because array uses math environment so it's up to you as i mentioned earlier whatever environment you want to use so next two lessons we will be using latex tables in which there are merging of cells inside the rows and inside the columns.